Disclaimer before the start of this video, this is not a guide for you to start your own war propaganda campaign. This is just educational and this information can be found on the internet. War has existed for almost as long as civilization has existed. Ancient Egypt had a war around 3000 BC between the north and the south to unify the country. Although this might not be classified as a war by today's standards as it's not between two different countries and or civilizations, but it's my video and I'm biased, so I'll count it. For those who don't want to do the math, this happened around 5000 years ago. And it's still something that occurs to this day. It's a tradition that we will never stop, apparently, because humans just love going to war. Or maybe they don't, because despite what it looks like, this day and age is the most peaceful time that we have ever been in throughout the history of civilization. People today are pacifist by nature, and they are very much against war. Maybe because they have too much to lose, maybe humans got pacified uh, throughout the generations, maybe because now we can see the horrors of war live on TV or on YouTube. But this video is not about why war happens, or the nature of mankind, or our response to war. This video is about propaganda. So, what is propaganda? It's marketing, but political. Propaganda is any attempt at convincing the viewer's opinion. It can be trying to convince people the truth. It can be trying to convince people of a lie. It doesn't matter. It's still propaganda. As long as the piece of media is trying to convince you of something, rather than being completely impartial, then it is propaganda. And war propaganda exists to make the enemy look evil or more evil or that they require immediate action and your country requires help. So we start off our list with, we don't want war, we're only defending ourselves. In this step, you paint your war declaration as you are defending yourselves from the enemy. The enemy is attacking you and you're just plainly defending yourselves. You divert the population away from the thought that this is a war, this is purely defense. The second step is that you don't want war. The enemy is the only reason that this is happening. They started it, but we will be the ones that will end it. Number three, dehumanize your enemy. Paint your enemy as the devil, Satan himself. Reduce the entire country that you're fighting into a single person. And that single person, make him as scary as possible. Because it's simply easier to gather around against one target instead of millions of targets. Number four, we're defending a noble cause, not our interests. In case that your enemy is attacking something valuable to you, your enemy is disrupting your interests, disrupting your chain of supply, most likely you will go to war. And you will have to justify that war to the people. That war is for a noble cause. You are only defending that little country that cannot defend itself. It's not that you're trying to defend your own political interests. Number five, the enemy is purposefully committing atrocities. And if we make mistakes, this wasn't our intention. Stories about the cruelties of the war will always circulate. Sometimes your country hears of you committing war crimes. You will always have to say that this was a rogue element. And if the enemy ever does the same thing, they're doing this on purpose. Number six, the enemy is using illegal weapons. Just like the previous ones. We never commit atrocities. We are as chivalrous as possible. Our enemies, however. Number seven, we barely suffer any losses. Our enemies' losses are considerable. You need to always show yourself in a victorious light and show your enemies as getting slaughtered by you. Your army is much stronger than the enemy's army. This will help boost morale. Number eight, Recognized intellectuals and artists support our cause. You need to get the artists and the intellectuals on your side. They have considerable influence on the population and will sway them in your favor without any extra effort. Number nine, our cause is sacred. Paint the fight as good against evil. And finally, number 10, whoever casts doubt on our propaganda helps the enemy and is a traitor. Simply put, eliminate all the opposition. All the media has to swing in your favor, not 
in the pacifist favor. This was from the monograph by Anne Morelli, sorry if I butchered your name. It was published in 2001 and has not been translated into English. She calls it the Ten Commandments of Propaganda, which is above all an analytical framework for teaching purposes and for media analysis only. I hope that you have learned something new today from this video and you will not go in your war campaign. Please don't.